Unit 4b, writing vectors. Vectors can be written in one of three ways. First, vectors may be written as an expression with variables. When an expression has a vector symbol over the term, then it denotes that the answer will have to be in vector form. We usually denote the direction in the answer using square brackets. The magnitude is 10, the unit is newtons, n, and the direction is south. Next, just as a measurement in a pictograph can be represented by the number of stacked objects in a column, like this pictograph of basketballs where each ball represents the number of points, or the measurement in a bar graph is represented by the height of each bar, like the bar graph of pizzas where the higher the bar, the more pizzas have been made, we can also represent the vector as lines where the length is the magnitude or its size. To represent a force with a magnitude of 10, we can draw a line that is 10 millimeters long, 10 inches long, or in our case, 10 centimeters long. Because we are drawing a vector, we need to include the direction, which is easily done by adding an arrowhead. If we use the standard orientation as provided by a compass, we will see that the arrowhead should point downwards. This 10 centimeter line with an arrowhead pointing downward represents a force of 10 newtons south. Finally, we can write the vector using implicit direction. Vectors must include direction, and when it's in a single plane, say left to right or up and down, then we can use a sign to represent the direction. We can use any sign and its opposite to represent the two directions. We could use a smiley face for north and a sad face for south. In physics, we use a plus and minus sign to represent the two directions. Up, right, north, and east are often assigned a positive sign, while down, left, south, or west are assigned a negative sign. For example, of force equaling 10 newtons south, we can replace the south with the corresponding sign, which is a negative sign. And our answer now reads, force equals negative 10 newtons. Note how the force does not have the half arrow vector symbol above it, suggesting that the answer should be answered using a negative or positive sign for its direction, and not the direction in brackets. It is important to know that unlike math, the negative sign does not represent a value or a loss, like negative $10, nor is it a good or bad symbol. It is simply direction. Often in physics, the positive and negative sign simply imply direction.